Uh, this exercise I'm going to show you is called bench rows and it works your upper back and your mid back and your arms as well. So you're going to take advantage of a bench that's at a slight incline and most benches in the gym they do have the option where you can bring it from a flat position up to an incline. You're not going to bring it up all the way. You can see this bench isn't all the way sitting up. So it's at a slight incline, probably about the first or second hole on whatever bench you're using. And what you're going to be doing is, now you can see down here, I've already positioned the dumbbells down here on the bottom because it's hard to get into position with hanging onto the dumbbells at the same time. You'll see what I mean when I get on the bench. So you position your dumbbells that you're going to be using, probably about 5 to 20 pounds, maybe a little bit heavier, depending on how strong you are. And you're going to position yourself. You're going to straddle the bench a little bit and you're gonna bring your chest down on the bench like this you've probably seen some of the the boys do this exercise in the gym you can also if you like you can kneel down on the bench so maybe that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna kneel down and then you're gonna grab your weights I've got them nice and handy here so I can grab them easily and you can do this two positions with your arms you can keep your elbows in nice and tight and you're gonna row the weights up and I'm going to squeeze at the top just a little bit when I have my elbows up just past my uh, torso here. And I'm really squeezing the muscles in between my shoulder blade area. Excellent exercise for the posture. And I breathe out as I bring my arms up. Now I'm not going to look up too high. I may check my posture in the mirror just a little bit, but then I'm going to bring my head back down to neutral position. So I'm looking just ahead of me on the floor and also watch that you don't let your head drop down too far, which may happen if you're not keeping an eye on it and that may hurt your neck a little bit. So you breathe out and breathe in. And you can just see just by looking at me doing this exercise, it's a great movement, a great exercise to add into your routine to strengthen your back. Now the other position that you can do with your arms is you turn your elbow, you turn your hands outwards. So when I row up, my elbows are going to point out to the sides. This one's a bit tougher, so I'm going to struggle a little bit with this one. So this one's a little bit more intermediate with the elbows pointing out, the ends of the dumbbell pointing towards each other. This is intermediate. And bringing your wrists to face one another and elbows tucked in, this is more beginner. I'm keeping my abs nice and tight. I'm keeping my breathing steady and focused. And then when you're done, don't drop the weights on the floor. Careful not to do that. You put the weights back like so and then you can Get up from the bench nice and easily.